Welcome to Exploring with Cindy and Dan. Today we are in Disney Animal Kingdom, exploring Africa, and we'll do the Kilimanjaro Safari Expedition. It will be amazing, so join us in this adventure. Animal Kingdom is one of the fourth Walt Disney World Park in Florida. Once you are inside the park, you will find brochures in English and any other language, so be sure to pick up one so you can navigate the park easily with this map. Or you can always use my Disney app on your cell phone and you'll find the map, waiting times, you can do restaurant reservations and many more things with your app. My husband and I like to use the app while, for example, my parents uh, love the guide maps. Our entrance ticket for this park was $149 plus tax for people over 10 years old and $144 plus tax for children under 10 years old. Usually weekdays are the cheapest day of the week to visit any Disney park in Florida unless it is a holiday. This park is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and sometimes from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So just check their hours of operation before coming to the park. If you want to do some of the attractions in the park with a really shorter waiting time, you can buy the Lighting Lane Genie Plus on your app. This Lighting Lane replaces what it used to be the free Fast Pass. Now you will have to pay for this service. This is Africa and we'll do the Kilimanjaro Safari excursion inside an open vehicle through the African savanna and we'll discover and find animals throughout the route. This is an attraction for all ages and lasts approximately 22 minutes. Normally, this attraction opens at the time the park opens at around 8 a.m. in the morning and closes between 5 o'clock and 5.15 p.m. in the afternoon. So always check the attraction schedule for more information. We will explore the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, which is home to over 30 species of animals living on 110 acres of picturesque open plains with forests and swamps. On your safari vehicle, you will have an expert guide who will help you find the animals and share fascinating information about wildlife and animals during your tour. If you take a look above your head, we have an animal spotting guide. You can use that guide to help me spot some animals out here on the reserve. Their tongues are so long, they touch their eyeballs and clean their ears. Oh, we have the black rhinos here. There's one on the left hand side. I'll get a little bit closer with this one, might be a better view up here. <laughs> really good view of them right there, kind of having a snack. Black rhinos are the smallest rhino in Africa. They weigh 3,000 pounds. Rhinos are poached or hunted for their horns. Some people believe that they have medicinal value, but they don't. Their horns are not valuable at all. On the left-hand side, that's the bottom. It's a deep, penny color coat to them. And a little bit further down, that's going to be the greater kudu back further. They have a tan coat to them. If you're able to spot that bongo back there, consider yourself very lucky. They have a nickname of the ghosts of the forest because of how rare they are in the wild. And their antlers angle backwards to help them get through thick vegetation and underbrush very quickly. The greater kudu that we saw back there, they're one of the tallest antelopes in Africa. They're the second tallest antelope here on the reef. to get their name for the pink skin that occurs on their back during mating season. Now these animals are colonial nesters, so they'll nest between 20 and 500 pairs. That's a group of 40 to 1,000 pink back pellets. And then on the left hand side we have some Nile crocodiles. We are almost across the bumpy bridge right here, just to make sure that we're all fully seated my friends. On our truck right now. 
right there grow about three to four feet in length and they're filled with a honeycomb like structure inside it allows for blood circulation and it helps keep them cool on hot days kind of like their own little ac system and behind that these trees are kind of pruned to the same height that's about as far as a giraffe can reach like eating these trees all around this area here we're gonna see the african painted dogs coming up on the left hand side African painted dogs get their name after their fur pattern. It kind of looks like they have paint on them. It's unique to each animal and that's how they identify each other. African painted dogs are Africa's most successful hunters. They have a catch rate of 90%. One is the upside down tree, and the other one you might be familiar with. 
familiar with, it's the Tree of Life.
does have an animators area over there and a behind the scenes look at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Really, really cool. It's in the back of the Rhino Barn where the elephants stay as well. Very, very neat. The last train over there to the Wildlife Express is going to leave at 4.30 today here in Africa. Well, we got to see a lot of really cool animals today. If you'd like to learn some more information, you can check out DisneyAnimals.com. Final. So I will leave you with a Swahili word, Kwaharini. And Kwaharini means to go well with the intention of seeing each other again one day. So Kwaharini, my friends. Another word that we say here on the reserve is Asante Sana, and again, that means thank you. So thank you for joining me here at Kilimanjaro Safaris. If we do have any personal belongings, make sure that we grab them. I don't want you to forget anything here on my trip. It'd be a long trek back to Africa if you forgot something. And if you have any wilderness explorers on board, you've been riding the Simba 1, S-I-M-B-A-1, my friend. Thank you for watching our video, and please consider subscribing to our channel with the notification bell on so you'll know when we'll have more amazing videos. Thank you again.